Okay, so you know how God says, touch not my anointed and bring my prophets no harm. You see, a lot of your enemies, they thought that if they didn't physically touch you, that they were exempt, they were fine. They're like, well, it's not like I touched them. It's not like I put my hands on them, so I'm fine. I didn't technically touch them. Okay, yeah, baby, but you touched them with your mouth, with your words, meaning with your tongue, with your malice, spite of mind. That's how you touch them. You touch their energy. You touch their heart. You touch their spirit. You may not have touched their physical flesh, but you touch their spirit with your evilness, with your malice, with your hatefulness, with your envy, with your pride, with your wrath. That's how you touch them. You put your, you put your name, your mouth on their name. Okay. You constantly had this, they, your enemies, they constantly had your name in their mouth, constantly tarnishing you. They touched your reputation. They touched your dignity. They touched your character. They touched your personality just by the way that they talked about you. You see, a lot of these enemies, they thought that they were slick. They thought that they was taking the easy way out. They thought that they was going around it when in actuality they were going right through it. They were going right through it, going right through their own thick of mess and darkness that which was going to eventually lead to their own destruction, their own demise. And you see, after you done overcame the worst phases of your life, the worst years of your life, after you overcame that and you're standing strong and you're standing strong and tall, you let nothing stop you. You let nothing hurt you. After you didn't overcame all of those seasons of your life, those phases, and you are coming out stronger and more powerful than ever, that's when they are going to enter into the worst phases of your life. So the way it's gonna be is as they are going down, you are going up. As you are elevating, they are de-escalating. They're going on a downward spiral while you are going on an upward spiral. You see, that's why God waited it's all in divine time because God works in such mysterious ways. God worked on you in the secret place. God took you and brought you into hiding and, and healed you and worked on you and went under like this, you know, open heart surgery with you to help you, to heal you, to restore you, to replenish you, to renew you. And while all the while that God was working on you, was working on healing and processing that pain that you had went through, all the while, your enemies were going on about their life and nothing much was happening to them for a while. Nothing much was happening. So they were thinking that because nothing was happening to them in that very moment and they didn't see you, they didn't hear from you. They literally thought they left you for dead, but the whole time God was working on you, baby. And they really thought that everything was fine. They really thought that they had got away with it. But you see, God works in mysterious ways and God has such a great sense of humor. God's like, yeah, you laughing at them now, but you know who you're going to be laughing next? Just wait, just wait a little bit longer. Just wait a few years. Just, just wait a few years. And then you really gonna see who's gonna be laughing. Uh-huh. You know, that's that's the thing. They they laughed at you, they mocked you, they saw how you were going through such a horrible time. They saw how they let you for dead. They saw how they kicked you down into rock bottom. And they saw you struggling to get back up, and not one of them wanted to even offer a hand to help you. And then when they turn their back on you and act like they didn't see you, act like you didn't exist, act like you just had disappeared, act like you were gone. And then just miraculously one day, here you come, a renewed version of you. You put yourself back out there. You brought, you reintroduce yourself into the world. You might have been off social media for a little while and then you came back and you're this brand new person. They like, when did they get so grown? When did they get so mature? When did they get so powerful? Where did this come from? Who was this? That ain't the person that we left leaving that we left for dead. That ain't them. But where, where this person come from? You shocked them all. They were flabbergasted. They were astonished. They had no idea. They had no idea that you were going to evolve the way that you were going to evolve. And the crazy part is, all the while when they were just trying to when they were going off about their life thinking that everything was fine everything was sweet it was all fine and dandy and they had hurt you they had left you for dead and no one caught them they weren't caught 
they didn't reap any consequences. They weren't reprimanded for their bad behavior. And the things that people will do to others when they think they won't get caught. Let me say that again. The things that people will do to others when they think they won't get caught. The things that people will do to others when they think they won't get caught. That's really what it is, baby. They thought they wasn't going to get caught. So they thought that they weren't ever going to have to be reprimanded for what they did to you. But you see how God made it that way? Because God wanted to really test their character. God's like, I haven't, I haven't reprimanded you yet. I haven't given you your consequences yet. I haven't given you your karma yet. And I really want to, I really want to test your heart, to test your spirit, test your mindset. Test where you are. See if your heart is really for me or if your heart is far from me. Because if their heart was really for you with time, when they got away with it, there'll be a sense of guilt and remorse. Like, yeah, shoot, I ain't really got you know, in trouble for what I did. I ain't really got caught for what I did, but damn, I feel bad because we didn't have to do that to that person. We didn't have to do that to them. But they not one time felt any regret. Not one time did they feel any guilt, baby. Not one time did they feel any remorse, baby. Not one time. And God was testing their spirits the entire time. Because even when they had moments where, they may have had moments where you may have gotten in contact with them, or maybe you have even seen them in person. And once again, God was testing them, was testing to see what was their heart posture towards you. And if their heart posture towards you still was with bitterness, was with envy, was with wrath, was just having all of this pride towards you, was just them thinking that they were just so above the law that they could just treat you any old kind of way. And you were supposed to continue to put up with it and they did not have to offer you no type of apology. They really thought they were that entitled and so just so perfect, so above the law that they could just treat anybody any old kind of way. And one, they weren't going to get caught for it. They weren't going to get any reprimanded for it. And they didn't have to take accountability for it. That's what God was testing. And when God tested their hearts, he's saying, OK, that's how y'all going to do them. That's how y'all going to do them. Even when y'all didn't get caught, even when y'all didn't even receive any type of consequences, even when you weren't reprimanded, that's how you're going to act. That's how you going to do my child. So that's how, first of all, that's how you did my child. That's how you're going to continue to do my child. And that's the attitude you're going to have about it. Okay. Okay. I got something for you. I got something clean and shiny and mighty for you. And it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pleasant. Remember that all that glitters is not gold. So let me tell you, God had tested these, the heart postures of these people and seen the type of people that they are and seen the stuff that they done did to you and seen the attitude that they had when they know they when they were thinking they got away with it it was just showing that their hearts were far from God was so far from him and the Lord even says that people will claim to be for me but their heart is far from me these are people that pray these are people that go to church these are people that call themselves religious folks of whatever denomination that they are a part of but these people, you see, their heart is so far from God because if they had the spirit of God, if they had their heart was with God, they would have felt remorse. They would have felt guilt. They would have came and repented. But not one time did they do. So that's when the truth started to come out. And that's when God had called you to start exposing. God had called you to start speaking your truth and telling your side of the story to speak on what had happened to you. And when the truth started to come out and once again, they still were trying to run from their accountability. They still were trying to deflect. They still were trying to gaslight. They still were trying to act like they did nothing wrong. That's when it's like, okay, now that this truth is smacking you in the face and you still want to run from it. Okay. Now, because I have given you countless, countless times to show mercy and not one time have you showed mercy. So now when your karma comes, when I unleash my wrath onto you for touching my anointed, I will have no mercy for you. When I allow it to go 10 times worse than how you did to them, I will have no mercy for you. When you call upon me for help, when you are on your knees, when you are saying, Lord, help me, I will not have any mercy for you because you need to learn. You need to learn this is not what you do to people. This is not how you treat others. And that's sure as hell not how you treat my child. These people are going to learn. They're going to learn the hard way. And by that time, it's going to be way too late. 
It's gonna be too late for them.